Hey guys, even here and in this video, you're gonna take a look at the results of the finals of Classic Physique Arnold Classic 2024. And what the hell happened? Wesley Wissers ended up winning the show. Did anybody predict this before the show started? Nobody thought this was gonna happen. And even after the prejudging, a lot of people still thought Ramon was too dominant and that there was no chance of Wesley winning, but he ended up winning, which is a major upset, which is honestly really cool. Now, I know a lot of you guys saw the title of the video and just clicked on the video to dislike it, but if you're still here, bear with me, I got some interesting points to make here. So, once again, Wesley won. And the reason why I like that is because it's interesting, you know, it'll be boring to see Chris Bumstead win Mr. Olympia every year, you know, Ramon in second, and then Ramon wins the Arnold Classic, and that's it. That's classic physique. You know, that sounds really boring. I love that this happened. Is it a shift in judging? Maybe now the judges are gonna look for more classic golden era type of physiques? Or maybe just the Arnold Classic, because maybe Arnold wanted to see this guy win? Because he most certainly does look a lot like Arnold, physique-wise. We're gonna discuss that later, but the other reason why I like the fact that Wesley won is because he was posting stuff during the prep. He made his classic physique exciting. Ramon didn't post a single physique update. Neither did Urs. These guys created zero hype for this division. So if you ask me, they got what they deserve. Wesley is basically the only guy that created some interest in this division for this show and that's why i like to see him victorious here now now let's talk about the possibility of a robbery i'm not gonna do an analysis of every single pose right now you can watch my previous video but we can take a look at a couple of poses for example this one most classic pose or favorite classic pose and the case is gonna be basically the same in every single pose wesley is more classic he does have those really classic lines and if that's what they're looking for wesley's got it what ramon has is better completeness meaning his legs are matching his upper body he has good legs while wesley's legs are a little bit behind ramon was really good everywhere upper body was really awesome and his waistline was smaller and i thought that was enough for ramon to win you know it draws a lot of attention but then wesley's arms those freaking biceps and that crazy width and those classic lines in the upper body they're also drawing a lot of attention but then i thought ramon's legs is gonna be what is gonna decide the outcome of this show so i thought ramon is winning this quite easily honestly for example this one side chest he really killed that one and here you can see his lower body but his lower body was good in the side poses so he really crushed everybody in this pose ramon dino included but he destroyed urs urs was so flat I have no idea what the hell happened to him. Wesley's back was also really awesome, like super wide, and I think he improved it a lot. There was a lot of detail, and his conditioning was really good, and he was just big, you know, he was just massive because he's very tall. But then lower body, like I thought Wesley's lower body wasn't up to par. I'm looking at his photos, and I don't really see it as much as I saw it in the live stream, but yeah, I thought it's gonna be the reason why, why potentially Wesley's gonna lose. And then there was this pose also, which I think Wesley was not winning. His abs did not really look that good. And like the details in the quads and the shape of the quads. You know, I thought Ramon was just, you know, killing this one with the vacuum or with the abs flexed. With those flaring lats and super small waist and just beautiful abs. I thought Ramon was more complete. And I think you will agree with me that he was more complete. As far as condition and the fullness overall peak... I think they were very, very similar. What Wesley did have, however, is that golden era Arnold Schwarzenegger type looking physique. And once he finally came in ready, like really conditioned and full as well, and just, you know, he peaked perfectly. Once he did that, the judges decided to award him. I guess that's how it went down. A major, major upset. I definitely was not expecting this. Wesley was nowhere on my radar, I thought he was gonna be like top 5, and even after the top 2 call out, I still thought Ramon did enough, but you know, I guess I was wrong. Another thing that I'm wondering is, what it's gonna look like to have a top 2 call out at the Mr. Olympia, Wesley Wissers versus Chris Bumstead. How about that? What would that look like? Well, 
you know, it would be interesting, but yeah, I think Chris Bumstead would blow Wesley away. I think Ramon Dino is definitely a much tougher competition for Chris Bumstead. But in case Chris Bumstead leaves and doesn't compete in Classic Physique anymore, who would be better representation for Classic Physique Mr. Olympia? Ramon Dino or Wesley Wisters? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Wesley would be a better representation. As far as the other guys, I'm sure you already know, you know, Ramon Dino was second, Urs was third, Brion was fourth, and Michael the Bull was uh, fifth. But I have to repeat once again, Wesley Wissers is the new Arnold Classic champion. I mean, this guy was so popular for so long. A lot of people wanted to see him do well, to see him win these big shows. They wanted the judges to recognize his talent, to appreciate, to truly appreciate his classic lines, his golden era look. And finally, it happened. If he makes a little bit more improvements, like brings more details in the legs, or maybe brings them up in size a little bit, you know, that's the only thing that I can think of. Really, upper body is really good. Maybe he can do something to improve his midsection a little bit, but, you know, he's very good. He's very good. He just won the Arnold Classic, and it's, it's amazing. It's really a great story. Whatever you guys think about this, please tell me down below, share your thoughts, I wanna hear what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video guys, please give it a thumbs up for more bodybuilding content like this. Subscribe to my channel guys, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.